and welcome to another video of reverse and today we will be continuing the story of farwell Raboshki. uh i just want to remember all of you that this is the this is a series so there's like videos before this that count the story so if you want to have the full picture of the story do go see the other videos and anyways uh, let's start no. and our fields will grow new crops our Vila, they've been doing strange things. Father took out a lot of old books, and he spends most of his time looking over his blueprints now. He said they will be the key to saving the town. Shame I can't read those books or help with anything. My dad was acting strange too. He started fiddling with the bottles from under his bed again. But mom didn't scold him this time. She even took out some of her treasures from the cabinet. Reindeer horn, noisy birch sap, golden teeth seal whiskers. Dad said his potions would keep everyone energetic for a whole day. Even Mr. Miser took out his wand from the safe box. <laughs> Move, kids. Good luck, Comrade Vila. Textbooks. Do adults take exams too? We're doing something far more important than exams, kids. We haven't used these old fellas since Zeno brought the new ones. Most of our comrades don't know how to operate them. Now is the time to put them back into use. Comrade Knut has been teaching us how to use these outdated technologies. That's right. All the adults have been divided into many groups. Knut is leader of the engineering group, and Pasono's uncle is in the investigation group, while Nina's father has joined the potion group. All of them take part in the creator combat training at dusk every day, and we share our combat experience with each other. And everyone is working hard to explore the mine. to live on our own without Zeno. Miss Vila, I want the town to be proud of me too. Is there anything that we can do? I have lots of metal toy trains. Can we make components out of them? They can spin and whistle like a minecart. That's a great idea. 
I'm sure it will inspire everyone. No, let them use mine first. Calm down, children. I know you want to do your bit. But our future needs you. Now your job is to study hard, so Rayashki can rely on you in the future. Understand? Oh, what about August? We can't find him. He'll be so sad if he doesn't get to have a job too. <laughs> Don't worry, Nina. He is helping the town in his own way. It's only been a few months. Can't believe the monsters have already occupied the whole place. Well, not a problem as long as we got our mischievous little comrade. He always knows exactly where they will come out. Things wouldn't have gone nearly as smoothly without him. I would never have believed he could do this if Comrade Winsong hadn't endorsed him. Never underestimate any of our comrades, big or small. Do I need to repeat that again? Well done, August. You protected everyone. Protected? But I was just teaching our monster friends how to dance right. <sighs> They are slow learners. Yes, that's what we want you to do. A performance with the Kikitooks. Your job is to tell which critter, um, I mean, which friend is dancing wrong. That's your talent, isn't it? Just like you showed us before? Oh. But what if they dance right? Um... Then they deserve some Alenka chocolate, don't they? Surgi, our new friend is right beside your boots. I think he is hoping to kiss them. Will you dance with him? What? Watch out! Could be 
Don't forget your homework. Uh. Back off. There are many more critters than we can deal with here. Many of us are injured. We must retreat. We made the decision to come here together, Comrade Evgeny. We are so close to the depths. We must not give up now. Uh, I know everyone's wounded. But look how far we've gone. It's been worth it, don't you think? This is all my fault. I'm sorry. Don't be Comrade Winston. You've given us a workable plan and helped us recognize our little comrade's potential. No? He's only a child. He's one of us, Comrade Evgeny. I will keep him safe. We aren't just digging a mine now. We manage to find this resource. No one will have to leave. And we can continue to live together, right? <laughs> These wounds are nothing. Compared to the glory of our future. Again, I think this is a foolish idea.
It's me. Oh, you. I want to talk. I was just about to look for you, Comrade Evgeny. I've found more details. Here. Trust me, they will ease your mind. More or less. Let's skip to the point. I want you to stop your research. What? Our exploration has only just started, yet many of our people have already been hurt. Can you promise there won't be further injuries or worse before we've found this fairy tale treasure? Your so called new resource is still unconfirmed, yet the price we've paid looking for it is already mounting. We had other options, safer options for all of us. We just need to be better prepared. We will arm ourselves with more knowledge for next time. I know what you're after here. The study of ley lines, right? The people here may be enthusiastic, but they are only laymen. I've spoken with someone who can help you far more. It is good to see you, Miss Vinsong. Our proud scholar of a budding, if still informal, school. And you, the big shot from Zeno. Should I feel flattered you stopped by? I read your files, as Mr. Evgeny suggested. You know already that Zeno has investigated many arcane cases, and been deployed to many places related to Arcanum. But we have never met anyone quite as obsessive in their study as you are. What now? Have the big shots decided they are going to trust my studies? Well, while I might admire your perseverance myself, no, they're not convinced. We just wonder what you and your school have gained from this long journey. Enough with the crap. As you wish. First... I believe you owe Comrade Evgeny some thanks. Huh? The less than satisfactory results from your study may not have earned this letter from Zeno. But Comrade Evgeny insisted on us offering it to you. Once you have our recommendation, you will be able to communicate with all the renowned scholars in our lab. Your long wait for recognition will be over. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. All I ask is, stop this farce. <laughs> Wow. I am so grateful. I think I might cry. All we have to do is wait for Zeno's grace to be bestowed on us. We should be moved to tears by your mercy, no? Putting aside your sarcasm, I would suggest you consider the danger of throwing away this opportunity. You are wasting time, effort, 
maybe even lives on some foolish vile goose chase. V can offer the people here a much safer and more feasible way forward. Don't you see? And what about Ryashki? All things come to an end. It will disappear quietly, overtaken by the wilds of this land. When the time comes. At least, it may leave a small place in the historical records. No offense intended, Mr. Evgeny. We cannot solve the problems we're having without Zeno's help. All of these problems will be solved, as long as we find this new resource. <clears throat> I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Vinsonk. As far as Sino is concerned, the value of this land is exhausted, fairy tale resources notwithstanding. Once we've transferred the Arcanists away, Ryashki will be abandoned. We are aware of the danger that staying here poses to these people, and it is our responsibility to save them, whether they wish to resist us or not. That's the only reason for our decision. Understand? <sighs> Let's be practical. Sino has many outstanding young people, a strong academic atmosphere, a better future. You will get the opportunity to revive your school of ley lines if you pass the exam. choice for all of you. <laughs> Mr. Big Shot, could you use your rusted brain to think of a more noble reason than consumerism and elitism? Do you really think our desire for a better life is the only reason why we refuse to leave? You used ordinary people as a stepping stone to power and privilege. And even now, you take our sacrifices for granted. Reality is cruel. Not you, not Ryashki, and not even Sino can save everyone. You will have to deal with that. You should take what is to come as an inevitable optimization of our society's development. I know. Life may still get harder even if we find this new resource. So what? Your brand of elitism may have invaded every corner of the world, but not this town. Not yet. I see. Most scholars like you hold the same naivete. They refuse to leave any of their comrades behind even if the price is their own future. What we would sacrifice ourselves for is not the study of ley lines or any other personal goals, but our dream to thrive together, to live in a bright future we all can share. As for this, I don't need it. A leopard never changes its spots. Since 
this wind song. For many years, I believed that our mission was to change the world. But when I looked up, the gate to the new world was already closed. Little Rayashki just coasted along, and I tried to keep everything the way it was. But I failed. Rayashki was doomed. All our efforts, our will, our dreams, nothing can change the creeping reality. We attempted to achieve something meaningful, something that could make history, but... The spirit of the times stands against what we are building here. Not just Zeno, but the whole world. That's what reality is like. Boring, cruel, disappointing. You are too pessimistic, Comrade Evgeny. Hmm? Zeno has tried to recruit me several times. Do you know what I've learned from all their efforts? They don't want us to explore that mine. They belittled our efforts, offered pity for Ryashki, and then planned out a promising future for us. Yet they didn't give us a hand, even when our people were injured or died. Do you really think they are so eager to stop us just because they don't want any more sacrifices? <clears throat> of course not, my friend. A lesson I learned from living in their society. Never do what your enemies want you to do. Zeno is afraid of us. They are afraid that we may discover a new kindling to relight our fire. That we may burn so brightly that we grow out from their control to create our own future. You are... Uh... But they can't have it their way. Rayashki belongs to us, as does the future. I... I will give it some thought, Miss Wynne. Come on, Winsome.
done any field investigation of lay energy since our school fell apart. Don't worry, Comrade Windsong. Look, these stones are still the same stones Rebolv is known. And don't be afraid to fail. My father told me that failure is just success and progress. <laughs> Even if we cannot find this new resource or save Arayashki, we've come back here together and worked for our common goal. We have nothing to complain about. All right. Whatever the result, we thank you for your efforts. Now, leave the rest to us. Comrade Yuri, check the connection status. Don't forget to check the drill, Comrade Yelena. Relax, it's much easier than opening a can with only your fingers. Knut had grown a slender heart. One that each place is no one could, and picked up stones there. They are not like the soft, transparent stones from the sky. These are hard, as chocolate. I think they are good stuff, too. Vila said we could make them into guns and houses to help the town. But maybe we will irritate the owner of the stones? Am I right that this sample is from a hundred meters underground? Yes. Usually we don't need to reach that deep to find runium ore. Relax, comrades. At least it proves there is something new under Ayashki. Hmm. I have been a miner for 40 years, and one thing I know for sure is this. This is not bedrock. It's a Kikituk's hair. The black marks are the new resource we're looking for. The red-brown ones are the Kikituks. And the bright yellow ones are their mineral-eating relatives, the Hoituks. Hmm. The machine will show us the stability of the lay energy in a minute. We are at the source of the lay energy now, so the lines should have been pure. If my eyes serve me right, I think I see bad news. You're right. This source is like an estuary polluted beyond recovery. It is carrying too many traces, both from creatures and non-creatures. Besides, 
The black ore down there seems to have attracted a large number of critters, which has only worsened the pollution. A senior of mine said in his notes that in this case, it will take a push for the core to activate its self-purification system. Hmm? Shoot, we got a big one. Waves! It's you with them! Should have prepared swimming floats. Yes, but the waves won't reach us if we ride this left. If the late energy materializes, put in a 7.62 centimeter sea serpent bone, three drops of common vervain sap, and 20 milligrams of snail sawfish embryo. beautiful stone on its neck too. Did your father also fall asleep in the mine? Is that the raw runium ore that Zeno has been looking for? The energy is so pure. No wonder it materialized into such a huge body. Comrades, stand with me if you got a weapon. No matter if it's a rifle, a staff, or a shovel, grip them tight. This is our Ryashki's future we're fighting for. We've been waiting for this, haven't we? That's right! Dear comrades, this is the critical moment for our town. No good weapons, no external support, but we have our friends, our family, and each other, who will never leave anyone behind. Yes. There's nothing to be afraid of. We can always figure it out, so long as... So long as we still have hope. So that was it for today's video, um, I'm gonna leave it on a cliffhanger just because it's like 1am where I'm currently am at so it's super late and uh, I'm just dying of sleep really. Anyways I hope you like it and uh, probably the next one is just gonna be the next part. So do keep your eye on that and I'll see you on the next one.